YouTube, 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 never fear, Logan Jace here, back with another sneaker review. Today I bring you a pickup that I got last week. Today is Friday, the 18th of March, and I was able to get through on Concepts website, and they, they sent you to like another website. So I was in line for like a minute, and bam, another thing, they sent me the wrong size. I ordered 11 and a half, a 12 is here. Um, I do wear a 12 and an Air Max 1. Uh, Atmos Safari, but uh, I prefer 11 and a half as those feel a little bit uh, roomy, but not unwearable is what I would say. And so this is the, the heavy colorway. Let's get into the box. Um, I love what they did with the box. It's a special box concept. Does not disappoint when they do these boxes. You got your floral Nike swoosh. Look at that. See, man. Then you got concepts right here on the end. You got this pattern here uh, that's on the sneaker for all the um, three sneakers that they're releasing. You got your bandana um, and then your uh, tiger camo. As um, what I was reading as far as this one, they, they use the inspiration from like the uh, 60s and how people were like uh, just dressing in like 69 and whatever, you know. Um, they all gathered together. I, I, I don't know if it was at Woodstock. I know it says something about New York. I'm thinking it was Woodstock. Um, but uh, then you got this uh, couple things right here that's on the toe box, which I will show you, but it's a little bit more clear as it blends in on the sneaker. They got a like a denim upper, whatever that material is, canvas. Um, you got your concepts and all these colors. It's got this whole like hippie vibe, you know, getting all high and feeling good. You know, and here's the tag Nike Air Max 1 SP multicolor, multicolor sale DN1803900 made in China. And this one comes with a nice, uh, solid uh, stamp action going on right there. Normally, you can't even really see it. You got your um, floral paper here same thing that's on the outside of the box you got your concepts in white right there and they just they don't miss with these uh special boxes and everything and collaborations uh concepts you got your uh um ydm sticker there you know and your regular tissue paper there nothing crazy and Here they are. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Yeah, another one. Got these, man. Love how these came out. Woof. All right, let's get into the review. You got this, um, not your regular gum outsole. It's almost like a peanut butter looking outsole. I don't know, but I love that shade. And you got your Nike Air branding right there on the outsole. Your midsole is like this uh, off-white color, and you got your paint splatter, and it's all here on the uh, midsole over the air unit. Look at that. Nice. And you got that um, the same color that's on the outsole in your air unit. So I like that. You got this tiger camo going around the heel on the mud guard here. Fire. And it feels really nice quality you know you have this soft feeling denim upper I don't know it just feels really soft and nice that's why I would say it's not stiff or anything and this um, material as well it has like a windbreaker vibe to it but it's not just because of the textile pattern on there I'll get you an up close look at that so you can see Just durable, soft, uh, upper materials used. Um, I love the contrast stitching going on right here in that black. Then it disappears right here. You can't see it, but just fire, man. Love it. Um, same thing with this uh, denim upper. You got the, the same stitch going on there. It's like a light, light blue. It, it goes perfect. 
nice just every little detail the white and the white stitching going right here as i showed you on the box you got like a half moon a star and i don't know what that is a little line whatever uh you got real cow fur here and what looks to be like um i don't know look like a giraffe print or something you know right there soft as well and it lets you know right here in the insole i don't want to get to it already but they do let you know right there and it's from brazil they put this sticker on the i remember uh still got those uh social status sixes um they're all black and they all got that um that cow fur and they put that sticker saying they're um official uh from brazil so that's where they source their um uh, cow fur shout out to matt g from brazil what's up brother and um you got your uh nike swoosh here you got the black outline and that same thing that's on the box i'll show you that really quick as you can see the eye so i like that you got like uh off-white yellow and red then you have this other print here on the collar that's on the box as well which is for the n and it says concepts over and over again fire touch man they, they put so much a lot is going on with the sneaker but the way they did it it all works you got your paisley bandana print on the heel fire it just like helps it pop you know there is no orange laces as these come with like brown which match the tongue brown laces match the tongue there then you got your like uh velvet feeling lace if you want to get all fancy and whatnot you got your white additional laces to keep it clean um what else you got some corduroy right here by the eye stays and then you got some like it, it it looks and feels like it's a metal eye stays right there thing is shiny it's, they put real stuff i don't know if it'll go off at the metal detector at the airport or whatever man but um that thing is looking real right there uh you have the same thing in the ins in the medial side. You have corduroy, that brown corduroy going on in the sock liner. Back of the tongue, got that brown corduroy. You know, you got your strings coming off. That's supposed to be like that vibe from the 60s. I love that touch. Uh, this is similar to what uh, the Union Dunks did with their collaboration. So, but this has like a, a real um purpose as it's going back to the 60s and you know everything was worn and you know people weren't this vibe man so usually we go back to the 70s the 80s the 90s they went back to the 60s constance wasn't playing around they were like yeah we're going way back we're gonna bring it back so this is fire um and they used a premium leather brown tongue it is premium you can see the scratches and uh you tell that's that good quality leather as the Air Jordan 6 cigars have the same feeling leather. And they put that on the LeBron 10, um, the EXT models. They had all premium suede upper and the leather for the tongue. Those things were, they use the same leather. That's, that It feels soft. You When you feel this to like, say your typical Air Jordan 1s, you're like, man, there is a difference in that leather. That this is the real deal. Um, not to say those ain't the real deal either, but like, you know, just the that feeling of softness i don't know this is they went in yeah they used uh you know uh nothing with leather or suede on the upper but they they used that premiumness they said we're just gonna use it right there on the uh the tongue we're gonna use that there and of course your um cow fur here which is a thick cut you could see see if i get you in a close look at that so yeah they weren't playing around man um your insole got concepts here you got your c's there and this one says uh the um limited edition the le see if i could angle it right i can't actually see that right there in there i'll open this up hopefully i'm getting it on camera as sun's getting me right there it's a little overcast and it's like i don't know it's throwing me off as looking inside the sneaker as i really would want to and it's got this fire print in there. Uh, let me see if I can take this out. They look like it's the, um, the same design. If I can find, if I can't take, oh yeah, I can take. 
I'm gonna um, put up a, look at this. Thought it was gonna be kind of hard to take out, but it seemed pretty easy. Take them out really quick. There you go, put them together. So you can see what's going on. Is that flowing right? I, I don't even know what's that, but um, yeah, that's the insole. That's fire. And then you have your um, gr light green under the insole, if anybody's wondering what color they use under there. So, And if you need to go without insole because you couldn't get your size and you need it, and you, that's what you're riding on. You're like, brah, I need to have these on feet. What I got to do is what I got to do. And... You got this little uh, thing for the guitar. It's a pitch something. I don't know. I'm not no guitar dude. I know shoes up, sleeves down is he be rocking out with the guitar and stuff. So, um, yeah, when you're going to do a guitar session, I want to see it, man. Show us, show us. You got your Nike here. And your concepts there. And he loves Air Max. Come on, man. You got you to gotta hook it up, man. You got to give us, bless us, one one video. Just like a minute. It ain't got to be too much. Maybe put in one of those links where I can find it, man. Let me know. Say, look, watch that video. And then you have a uh, little embroidering going around the eye stays. More details, you know. You see that? They don't stop, man. You can look at this sneaker all day, man. Look at the swoosh, man. How long did it take them to do these three sneakers? Like, they kept, like, how many samples? I always think I'm like, bro, one sneaker. They did three sneakers. How many samples? They were like, nah, it's not looking right. It's not It's not going right. And then all of them looking like they're different. They're all different uppers. I've seen uh, different pictures of different uppers. So you're getting different panels. <laughs> no sneakers alike. Um, prices are like low for air maxes i think the help of travis scott what he did with the dunk is not in effect because of what happened but that was going to be a catalyst same thing with the um trainers he's going to drop his trainers too and you see how prices should be they should be really low these are in the 200s these really what what they retail 170 i don't remember how much i paid for i know it was under 200 they're under 200 they're not like new balance where they'd be going up to like 250 260 almost 300 dollars or whatever shipping and everything so but um you know you could pay resale for these which is no problem and get like a new balance at retail so that that just shows you the quality difference what new balance always brings and made in america stuff made in the uk stuff you know made in england um they they, they don't mess around so but um you know they did a great job with these the price point uh after resale right now is great if you want them get them man uh what happens with uh air max ones they they look like oh you know there's no resale to it but if you are looking for anyone that's under at least 300 dollars after it's sold out and these are limited um you got to get them now over time we as uh collectors enthusiasts we get them prices to go up because we're like, man, I need another pair or I traded it away and I need another pair that for that reason or whatever. Or I want another pair. I want to double up or I want to triple up. And you're like, damn, why that? Because I just I'm feeling it like that. I want it. I want another one. I want two sets of the concept uh, Air Max from the 2022 pack. I'm like, damn. And then after he gets that or she wants to triple up so that and then you're like man yo i really like them i need i need one then you end up getting the pack yourself so but uh, prices like i said right now are low and it's great to um be able to purchase these for uh low resale as we saw the dunks were crazy they're still pretty high at times um depending on the release and there is no um <clears throat> like you got the nike sbs they have the skate shops so you know they're exclusive basically to those skate shop in a couple boutiques but there is no exclusiveness to the air maxes there is no like uh they're only allowed for runners no that, that that's not happening you know there is none of that so that's the only difference too where there is no like 
a little bit of gatekeeping going on by these uh, Nike SB skate shops. You know, they be they be holding the pairs. They be saying, no, no, everything's fair. You know, if they ain't got a lot of pairs, they ain't gonna. Come on, man. They're gonna keep it to the people that keep supporting them. That's just how it is. There's there's no way around it. You either go in there and spend a lot of money, you'll be able to get your pairs. If not, it's not happening. You know, you gotta keep showing your face. Maybe, you know, but. It's mostly for those kids. They're always in there shopping, buying skates, breaking them, buying clothing, living the lifestyle. But that's going off course. We're talking about the Nike and see the prices are low. All I'm saying is, you know, that's all. It's a big illusion. They try to keep it as long as they could, but it's done. The Nike uh, dunk hype is over. They already moved on. They're trying to already get you to go with these. This is what it is. The Air Max one and the trainers. That's it. You know, people are still trying to push um, the dunks and like, oh, Dunks are always classic fire. Same like Air Jordan 1s, um, the Yeezy 350s, they're always going to be there. Air Max 1s, they just sometimes have their moments and stuff like that. And you got so many new balances. So it's like, there's like too many to um, say with that. Uh, you know, I have to get that new balance in there. So, but, um, and Concepts has fire collabs with new balance. But um, we're talking about Nike and Concepts here. And I love that. It has that little swoosh in the um the bandana right there it is fire uh the the collection of clothing i i wanted to buy something but not like they they create more better product for the sneakers and they do the collection for the clothes i don't know i try and i'm like they give me some kind of like supreme vibe but i never really buy supreme but i'm like i want to buy something concept but i just don't feel it i don't know i just be like nah i look and maybe sometimes it's just not at the right time, but I'm like, man, they make so fire, so many fire sneakers, man. But the clothing, I'm just not feeling. I don't know, you know. But YouTube, we're almost at 20 minutes, you know. I love these sneakers. Um, and then there's the other one. I don't even remember. You got the mellow, and oh, I forgot what the other one is. The one with the like purple and the red. Um, you know, I'm just happy I got this heavy. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to be able to cap the other one as, uh, you got to be quick and, but it seems like, um, they made a decent amount of pairs as they should, you know, it's a celebration. We got to be able to get our hands on pairs, you know, so that too helps with the resale value being down and, um, yeah, just happy to have these. Um, more than likely I'm going to be rocking if I can't get no other one, which, and they ain't releasing this week. So, more than likely, I'm going to be rocking these uh, for Air Max Day. I want to rock these for Air Max Day. Um, yeah, I got the Padas, but I'm like, um, I want to rock these. I don't know. Since I got them this month, I don't know. That's how I'm feeling. And I just want to keep those uh, Padas on ice. I'm still trying to get that Monarch call away, man. Before that price goes up, man. I need that Monarch. I want to complete the set on that one. But, uh, you know so many other releases you gotta keep trying to get the other releases next release next release next release it doesn't stop it doesn't stop like man so yeah and uh i don't know if i said it but you got your uh white tag black nike lettering orange swoosh and contest in those colors it's this sneaker has so many details incredible incredible fire collab um just looking at the tips the aglets of the uh laces here and YouTube, hope you enjoyed the review. Let me get that thumbnail right there. It's your boy, Logan J. I'm signing out. Peace.